Today, investigators finally allowed cameras inside the home where Condit lived. Here's a first look at it. We also learned Condit may have also been tipped off by the same authorities who were on his tail. Jeremy Rogowski has more on the communication breakdown that may be to blame. Hours before Mark Condit blew himself up in a roadside ditch, someone was knocking at his Pflugerville home. We took a call for a medical assist. It was Pflugerville paramedics who received a police dispatch call to the home. The squad responded and uh, the paramedics went to the door uh, and said, uh, did you call 911? The people who responded to the door said, no, we don't. Just as those medics were speaking with Condit's roommates, dispatchers were urgently trying to back them off. But turns out they were talking to the wrong paramedic crew. Medic 211, you did a stage at your fire station. Do not make scene. Medic 211, squad 211, did you get the stage on this call? Yeah. No, we didn't. It was too late. And shortly after, Condit was on the move. Fire Chief Ronald Molenberg. Knowing what you know now, wow, we certainly wouldn't have responded to the door. It's still unclear which law enforcement agency gave that initial dispatch order and why. The FBI has not gotten back with us. APD and the ATF say they cannot comment on an ongoing investigation. Jeremy Rogalski, KVU News.